It's promoted by the euthanasia movement as the peaceful pill, but the barbiturate Nembutal is illegal to import or possess in Australia. Despite that, a euthanasia advocate claims that over the past two years, hundreds of Australians have brought it into the country. Most have purchased it online from China, the country that now dominates the drugs black market. Sashka Koloff has our story and a warning her report does contain some disturbing material. On a recent Saturday afternoon in Sydney, euthanasia advocate Dr Philip Nitschke held a workshop about the best way to end your life. Don't take any notice of a rumour you might hear that an overdose of sleeping tablets will lead to death. It won't. There are very few lethal drugs and the best lethal drug is Nembutal. Nembutal is the euthanasia drug of choice. It's a lethal barbiturate and within an hour of drinking it, you'll die. I've been with a lot of people who have died using this drug. It just seemed to get into a deeper and deeper sleep and then finally stop breathing. And for those watching, they see this as the most peaceful of deaths. It certainly looks to be. For those here today wishing to choose when and how to end their life, Nembutal seems an attractive option. Oh, it's the Rolls-Royce way of going. It's 100% it's easy and it's 100% effective. So that is what people would dream of. You know, I don't want to do anything violent or painful and this seems the perfect solution. But Nembutal is illegal to import or possess. Importing Nembutal could land you in jail or with a fine of up to $825,000. Be careful. It's a crime. Despite this, Philip Nitschke continues to promote where and how to buy the drug at workshops across the country. But the online version of the book gives the best details that we've got uh, on the currently available sources. Philip Nitschke says hundreds of Australians have illegally brought Nembutal into the country over the past couple of years. The Australian Federal Police have told Lateline that since 2007 they've seized almost 15 kilograms of the drug. But so far, no one has been convicted. Mexico used to dominate the market. Now, most Nembutal is bought online from China. Increasingly, there are reports of internet scams. Lateline has spoken to several people who have lost hundreds of dollars trying to buy Nembutal online. Arriving in flat-packed envelopes, Chinese Nembutal comes in the form of a white powder and Dr Nitschke says people are worried about its quality. People obtain these packets of white powder in envelopes from China and they're concerned in a way that I never saw the same concern with the South American product. They worry that maybe someone is selling them something which is, which is contaminated or not pure or maybe just cheating them completely and selling them caster sugar or something. To combat concerns, Dr Nitschke has set up a mobile testing laboratory and he says there's a long queue of people across Australia waiting to use it. From what we can see, there's nothing to suggest that those people that are spending money, usually in the order of a few hundred dollars to acquire this drug from China, are getting anything other than exactly what they want, that is, pure Nembutal. Today he's in Sydney to help David, who has terminal cancer, test the Nembutal he illegally imported earlier this year. That's a pretty good result. And, oh, that's, uh, that's comforting. Were there any concerns on your part about the legal issues? At 81 years of age, I don't think that crossed my mind. If they want to jail me, well, I just think that would be a very stupid action. David bought his Nembutal from a supplier listed in Dr Nitschke's book, The Peaceful Pill Handbook. The book is banned in Australia, but for $80 you can buy online access to the publication. So how hard was it to get it into Australia? Well, all I can say is that it arrived. I, um, I, sent, uh, I sent an email uh, requesting a sample. Um, I received a reply um, asking me to forward uh, 360 US dollars and I duly arranged that and two weeks later my package arrived through the mail.
Well, this method of bag making is very simple. Uh, we've chosen a large size oven bag, mainly because that fits all size heads. Dr Nitschke's group also produces instructional videos for those considering euthanasia. In one tragic case, a young Sydney woman who was not terminally ill, but suffering from depression, accessed this information. She also attempted to buy Nembutil online, but lost her money. In May, the 30-year-old committed suicide. Her family told Lateline, The internet's a tool and has many good uses, but when vulnerable people can so easily get hold of information and videos that can do a great deal of harm, it can be devastating. Well, it's, it's an age-old question about censorship. I can't guarantee where information is going to go to, but I don't think that's a good reason for stopping giving out information. Professor Ian Webster, chair of the government's advisory council on suicide prevention, disagrees. Well, I don't think that's an acceptable risk. I mean, there's a very fundamental principle in medicine, primum non nocere, a Latin statement for above all do no harm. So no action that a physician or a surgeon or a doctor should take should increase the likelihood of harm. Philip Nitschke is currently facing two investigations by the Australian Health Practitioner Regulation Agency over claims he is not a fit and proper person to hold medical registration. But he says losing his licence won't stop his work. Well, I mean, in a practical sense, it would make very little difference uh, because of the growing demand, if you like, by a growing or increasing number of elderly people who are demanding control over the end of their lives. It's a very difficult balance to strike. Overwhelmingly, I put my weight on preventing suicide and promoting suicide methods to elements of the population which are at high risk. But for people like David, knowing he now has a choice is a comfort. Yeah, euthanasia um, goes against what most of us believe in, but you've got to say, OK, but there are other people there who have a problem, and why not give them the right to decide, sorry, I want out of here. Sashka Koloff, Late Line. If you need someone to speak with or know someone who may need some help, Beyond Blue can be contacted on 1300 22 46 36 or you can call Lifeline on 13 11 14.